All right, guys. So we're here. It is May fourth, and we're finally we're finally doing it. So this video was supposed to be uploaded yesterday on Sunday, May third, but unfortunately got put to the side after my Instagram account at Ram Wellness Online got hacked. I was just doing, you know, the Instagram thing, and I kept getting logged out, and the next thing I know, I couldn't get back in. Everything got changed around, and yeah, not so much fun. So, what we're gonna do is not cry over spilled milk. We're going to get right back on track, and we're going to keep pushing, because that's what we do here at Ram Wellness. So it is now 1.27 p.m. here in South Jersey. It's a beautiful sunny day with beautiful weather. I'm standing up in front of my computer right now and we're going to get, going to get this workout in. We're going to get it done. So it is now Monday, May 4th. So let's hop right into it. As you can see, I'm sitting here on the brand new Rogue Echo bike that we added to the beginning of our garage gym. Um, I say beginning because it looks like we're probably going to end up going all in on this garage gym at home and you know getting some more equipment in not just for cardio but for weights and all that so as we add those pieces we'll keep adding them in. Uh, you can find us on uh, Instagram at Ram Wellness Online. And we'll keep posting videos like this. So just warming up for five minutes, getting the juices flowing. And I like the Rogue Echo Bike because it allows me to warm up my upper and lower body at the same time. So here you can see my wife at mrs.ram6. That's uh, on Instagram. We're starting with a squat exercise. Our heels are elevated. So on this wooden, this piece of wood that we had in our garage. So how in here she's going to keep her elbows out in front of her, arms crossed across her chest, back is straight, head is high, chest is out. She's going to take a deep breath in and brace from her core. She's going to sit back as if she's sitting into a chair. She's going to lower herself nice and slowly, maintaining that tightness, keeping her weight in her heels. She's going to pause for a few seconds at the bottom, and then she's going to reverse the movement by standing up and breathing out. And the very last movement, a squeezing her glutes so that her hips get tucked under her. And then we're going to repeat the process. Head high, chest up, elbows up. Deep breath in, brace our core. Sit back into an imaginary seat or toilet behind us. Slowly control the descend. Hold it at the bottom, keeping the weight in our heels, keeping that tightness. And reverse the movement to the top and squeeze our glutes, tucking our hips underneath us. And now we are moving into a single arm kettlebell row. I'm sorry. No, we're first we're starting with some kettlebell push-ups. Now we're doing these on the kettlebell to increase range of motion. Right now I'm 240 pounds. Yeah. A little chunky monkey there. But uh, we're working on it. So we're using these kettlebells to get a deep range of motion. As you can see, I'm keeping my core tight, keeping my glutes squeezed. Um, and we're descending nice and controlled, going as deep as we can, getting a nice stretch, keeping our shoulder blades retracted, and reversing the movement. So this is really going to be a good challenge for our core, our chest, our shoulders, the whole works. And I'm just doing about 10 reps here. That's about it. And then in the next clip, you're going to see a variation for the ladies who may not be able to do that. Um, in my wife's case, we're using a band here. I don't know the resistance on it, but it doesn't matter because I'm providing most of the resistance in the band by pulling back on it at a steady force. And she's resisting. So this is one way of adding resistance to a chest exercise if you can't do push-ups on the floor and if you have a partner with you. And we're just banging out some five controlled reps here. Now here we have our single arm kettlebell row. I'm being supported by the seat of the Rogue Echo Bike. We're going nice and deep, nice and long in front of us to stretch those lats out. We're taking a deep breath in, bracing, and then we're squeezing hard from the lats and pulling that kettlebell back to our hips. Again, nice long stretch, stretching out the lats. Deep breath, squeezing and pulling that kettlebell back to our hips. 
and we're just using that rogue echo bike to provide some extra support banging out 10 nice and easy reps here nice and controlled now here in the next clip here's a variation for the ladies here you see mrs ram aka dr ram uh, set up here for some bent over uh, banded rows. So here, instead of her standing on them, I'm standing on them in front of her to give her that range of motion. You can see that the bands really stretch her out at the bottom in front of her, uh, in front of her feet, instead of being directly under her. And you can see I'm helping her to control that range of motion out and in front of her, helping her really get that stretch in the lat and build that uh, mind-muscle connection. So she's coming back, she's holding at the top for a second, she's slowly controlling the descent of the movement, and then that's it, nice and simple. So now we are moving on to the next exercise, getting into position here for some overhead tricep extensions using the kettlebell. A little bit different than if you had dumbbells. Here you can see my elbows are flared, I'm going to do my first rep, but then I'm going to fix my elbows so that they're closer into my head. And then we're going to continue keeping our glutes tight, our core tight, keeping that tension in the triceps, extending the kettlebell straight overhead, full range of motion, and then on the way down, we're controlling it. And you can see you're letting that kettlebell really sink down and stretch the triceps out. So we're just doing a nice set of 10 controlled reps, full extension overhead, Nice and slow and controlled descent, full stretch at the bottom, keeping the cores tight, keeping the glutes tight, and you know, we're just getting it done, nice and easy. And you could see how long the back of my hair has gotten, but we won't talk about that. Now we'll hop over to the ladies version, using a band. So here I am helping my wife get into position with her elbow next to her head. We're keeping her core tight. And we're going to, just like in the last exercise, extend straight overhead. I'm trying to keep her elbows in place closer to her head. Keeping the tension on the triceps. She's bracing from her core and then she's extending straight overhead, slowly controlling the descent, letting it stretch her tricep out. Slowly controlling the descent, letting it stretch, stretch, stretch her tricep out and then extending to the top, trying to keep a firm grip and a straight wrist the entire time. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Now here we are going to do some kettlebell curls for the biceps. Nice and controlled, nice and easy. Getting that full stretch at the bottom, tight squeeze at the top, full range of motion. Here's a different angle. Tight squeeze at the top, turning our pinkies out, coming down at the bottom, tight core, tight glutes, keeping it nice and clean, nice and tight, squeeze at the top, coming back down, stretching completely, no swinging, no rocking, no cheating. And here's another variation for the ladies where we're, uh, Mrs. Ram is standing on the band. Then she's slowly lowering it to her sides. And then she's curling it up while she's turning her pinkies out at the same time, giving it a nice good squeeze. And here you can see me telling her to extend her elbows fully to give that biceps a nice extra stretch at the bottom here. So there's no cheating, there's no bouncing, there's no rocking. It's a good... Uh, stretch on the bicep, good squeeze at the top, good control on the way down, keeping the core tight. And Mrs. Ram is giving the camera a death stare because she's so focused. And that's it for that exercise. And then we're just showing you the same exercise from a different angle from the side, keeping her chest up, shoulder blades retracted. Core tight, glutes tight. This keeps everything fixed in one place. So you're really, really, really isolating that motion as much as you can at the elbows. And to a small extent, as you can see when I was doing the kettlebell curls, at the shoulders. 
because part of your bicep, the short head, does cross over the shoulder joint. So here we can see she's slowly lowering to the side and getting a nice tight squeeze at the top. All right, now for some shoulder presses. Getting the kettlebell safely into place, position, and we are keeping our core tight, glutes tight, pressing straight overhead, controlling the descent on the way down, keeping our wrist straight, keeping a tight grip, keeping the core tight, pressing straight overhead, again, isolating as much of that movement at the shoulder joint as possible, keeping our shoulder blades retracted, especially on the way down, keeping the elbows in nice and tight to the body to protect our shoulders, and just banging out nice clean 10 reps. And here's the variation for the ladies. Mrs. Ram is standing on the band, and she's going to do this single arm again, chest up, core tight, glutes tight. We're going to keep that elbow close to the body as possible. You can see I'm just redirecting her elbow to keep in that position. Just to maintain safety at that shoulder joint. And we're slowly controlling the descent, trying to keep the wrist straight, as you can see, and correcting it there. Keep the core tight. Keep everything safe and, and as isolated at the shoulder as possible. Mrs. Ram is doing a great job here of following these cues, maintaining good strict form, good clean technique. And I'm just making some small adjustments in there just, just to help out as her trainer. Now we're just changing direction for you folks watching this. We appreciate you being here. And we're just keeping the core tight, chest up again, elbows in. And we go through this, it's very repetitive because you want to build these habits from the beginning to maintain your safety, maintain good technique, to get the most out of your training and minimize your risk of injury. If you get injured, you can't do it, you can't get it in, you can't get the gains. So we try to minimize our risk at all costs. And that's why we're really focused on keeping that chest out, the core engaged, the glutes tight. As you can see, I'm, I'm cueing her to brace at her core. And now we're going to do some stiff-legged deadlifts banded with kettlebells. As you can see, I'm just going down until I can't stretch my hamstrings anymore. Now, my hamstrings are super tight, so my range of motion is super restricted. Any lower than this, and my lower back will start to round. And I don't want to do that. I already have uh, had problems with uh, disc herniations and bulging discs and all that fun stuff. So... Again, we want to minimize risk, so we're just going down until we get a maximum stretch in the hamstrings, lower back is not rounding, and then we're squeezing from the glutes. We're not moving, we're not initiating movement from the back, we're squeezing from our glutes. And here you'll see Mrs. Ram uh, doing the same exercise without the band. The band is a little bit more of an advanced movement. Nothing too complicated, but um, she's, just, she's just more comfortable with doing this with just the kettlebell. So here we are focusing on bracing from the core before descending down to pick up the kettlebell and then we're going to just reach straight down pick it up and stand back up straight up so here i am cueing her up again getting ready to focus on the on form so the way that we're picking up the kettlebell excuse me She's going to brace her core. She's going to reach straight down, keeping her eyes fixed on a point out in front of her. She's going to initiate the movement from her glutes, stand straight up, and squeeze the glutes. And now I'm telling her to focus on stretching, sitting back in an imaginary seat, stretching the hamstrings as far as her hamstrings will allow her and then squeezing the glutes and tucking underneath her like we did in the squats at the beginning of this workout video. She's bracing from her core. She's pretending to sit back in her seat, 
stretching her hamstrings as far as she can stretch, and then reversing the movement by initiating the movement from her glutes and her hamstrings and tucking her hips under her at the top. Then we're going to do this again, chest up, core engaged, glutes engaged, sit back into the imaginary seat, stretching the hamstrings as far as it'll allow us, and then reversing the movement by contracting the glutes. Engaging the core, glutes tight, chest up, sit back in the imaginary seat, stretching the hams as far as she can, and then reversing the movement. And as you can see, there's a piece of wood underneath her toes. That's just to help her with a little bit more with range of motion and getting a good stretch in the hamstrings. You could do it without this, but try it with the wood. It really helps get that stretch. And here I am just doing some shadow boxing. And folks, we wrap this up with six rounds of hit. We each took turns doing 30 seconds all out on the bike and then a minute and 30 seconds of shadow boxing in between. I mean, my shadow boxing is really rusty and really slow. Not really, I mean, it's really out of shape here, but it's just to keep the heart rate up, keep moving. Um, keep the athleticism, it's something that we enjoy doing, so we just threw it in there in between our hit intervals, six of them with a minute, 30 seconds of shadow box in between. And that was it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, please give it a like, tag somebody below and share it, bookmark it if you want to try this out at home, and uh, let us know what you thought about it. And, um... We will see you in the next one, hopefully very soon. All right, take care, guys, and remember to always strive for exceptional.